Fact the life of Fizo. Um, I don't want to say it's been brought to my attention, but it has been said a lot, and I never spoke on it in video. So I'm gonna speak on it in video. Um, when chicks say, "Don't tell me how to raise my kids," okay, and I see that being a major statement, and a lot of females agree with it and i understand why you agree because you know nobody's there helping you take care of your children but let me say this as a parent it's it's damn near like it's almost your job to look past the fucked up shit that your kids do because they're your kids you protect them you kind of look the other way you know with certain shit so when a person gives you some type of advice when it comes to your parenting I don't think that it should completely be taken like offensive um I guess it can depend on how it's delivered but if somebody's not doing it in a disrespectful manner then I don't think that you should take offense to it reason being is because when you're on the outside looking in you tend to see other things that a parent will not see um I'm not a parent don't get me wrong but I've been put in parent situations um, I got a lot of little brothers and sisters that, you know, I kind of, I, I guess you could say I'm kind of the father figure for. So, I know the shit that they do and I've looked past it and it had to come from, you know, wherever where I had to look at them and be like, yo, that's, you fucking up. So, if you a parent that can't tell your kid that they fucking up, then you setting them up for failure in the long run. Because when you don't say shit, they think that it's okay. And they're going to do whatever it is that you allow them to do because mommy says it's okay. But when they get their ass grown and they get out there in the street, it's, the shit's not going to be the same. Like, parents are laughing at their kids, cursing and shit like that. And then they think that it's okay to curse at any point in time, like to other grown people. And other grown people not going to take that shit how you take it. They're not going to find it funny, you know. Or they could say it to somebody else's kid or say some foul shit to somebody else's kid, something that you used to laughing at. Guess what? That kid don't come from the same walk of life as yours does. Your kid going to fuck around and get knocked the fuck out. Period. Because not everybody is going to take things the same way that you did when you thought it was a fucking joke. Or it's going to come back and bite you in the ass and be like, okay, well, because you thought that this was funny when I was a kid. Now I'm calling you by your first name or now I'm cussing you out and saying this, that or whatever in front of you. Like certain kids have literally no respect for anybody, you know, and I came up from a generation where respect was everything. You know, as a kid, first of all, you don't talk when grown people are talking. You shut the fuck up. You don't jump in grown folks conversation. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like. If if mom on the phone, then you don't talk to mom while she on the phone. If mom on the phone, you respect her phone call. We playing, we gonna play the fuck quietly. Because if got if mom on the phone and she get interrupted, guess what? Somebody or everybody getting fucked up. And don't nobody want that shit. And it it gets it gets different different ugh. Excuse me, it gets different results depending on what you do. As a parent, you are that example. So whatever example that you set, be it you laughing at the dumb shit that they do or checking them when they fuck up, all of that shit's gonna speak into their life as a whole. Like it's it's gonna go further than you know them just being in your house because eventually they got they're gonna leave your house more than likely you know some people won't but you know eventually in hindsight you would think that they're gonna leave your house and shit so my advice is i'm not saying take every bit of advice that everybody gives to you about parenting but take what you can use i mean be, realistically speaking like don't just you know shun it because it came from somebody realistically speaking take the parts that you can use and to try and help better you know your parenting skills because you want to be the best parent possible naturally and you can't do that shit by thinking that everything that you do is right because it's fucking not i mean nobody's perfect we all know that shit 
We all come from different walks of life. So somebody gonna know some shit that you don't know. But if you really feel like, okay, well, I'm the best parent ever and whatever I say goes and my kid is gonna be just fine. All right, keep it up and watch your kid get fucked up. And it's gonna end up you having to go out there and fight for your kid because you ain't teach your kid no goddamn manners. I mean, it's gonna be some shit like that. It's gonna be crazy. I, I, I promise you that. I'm just a messenger. I'm just trying to let y'all know what's really real in life.